you're going to go to a, a, a somebody that's a middleman, they're a wholesaler. They go out and they package up and they get a big discount from the manufacturer and then they sell to retailers. It makes it very easy for retailers to go to one place to have access to a whole bunch of different manufacturers. And that's why people do it. With real estate, it's the same idea where we're going direct to the manufacturer or the owner of the property, right? And we have someone that, that we're selling the property to in um, who is going to then sell it to a uh, to the general public, right? So it's an ABC transaction. The major difference here is that the value in the in for the wholesaler, the value that the wholesaler brings is finding these discounted properties and motivated sellers at significant enough discounts that they can make a margin and still sell it to an investor who will make money on the deal. Correct. Is that, and is listen, that and, and here's if you're an agent out there, the what what you have to just understand is that there are people, uh, and a lot of these transactions could be done on the MLS, and a lot yep. of them could go right to a realtor, especially in today's day and age. Um, there are some people who uh, don't like guys who wear vests. There are some people who don't like uh, people with hair like mine. That's fine. You know, there are some people who only want to deal with a woman property manager. They don't want to hire any property manager at all. There are some people who, for whatever reason, when they go to sell their house, they don't want to talk to a realtor. Yep. And